Now let's do the Cheez-It Bowl, Wednesday, December 26th, 8 p.m. ESPN. It's in Phoenix, Arizona. It's two guys you really like. Cal and TCU, Gary Patterson. Neither one of them had a good year. And Justin Wilcox. But, but I'm a fan of both these coaches. Well, I, I will say this. California improved from 5-7 and seven okay, to 7-5. Okay, California five. improved. Their expectations, yeah. they did better, I think, than, than most national expectations. Yes, absolutely. TCU, way disappointing. Yes, very, very much so. Sean Robinson uh, transferred out of there. So he will uh, he will obviously not be playing in this game. I think he's he's hurt anyway, so he wasn't going to play anyway. Yeah, I about to say I don't think he played a lot anyway. Cal was six five and one against the spread. TCU three eight and one. Cal was three and one against the spread in their last four. Uh, the only loss there was uh, to Stanford in uh, the big game. Uh, TCU two and two in their last four, and they had to win their last two just to get to a bowl game. Just to get bowl eligible and, and impressive. Like they they beat Baylor, they beat Oklahoma State. And that's two teams that you would not expect them to be able to beat. Uh, the line opened TCU minus two, and uh, and the total was forty and a half. It is now down to a pick'em, and the line is forty. I there's nothing. So both of these teams, top twenty-two in defensive yards per play. Uh, neither can score. Like one is number ninety-seven, and the other is one hundred nine in scoring. Um, well, TCU moves the football a lot, though. They just turn it over so, constantly. Well, TCU I, uh, is I would minus bet that six. They lead the, the the Big Twelve in turnovers. You're probably right. I bet. I bet they do. Their turnover margin is minus six. Cal is minus two. So both of these guys, uh, they they don't do so hot on that. Uh, both of them can stop the run. Uh, neither of them can really run the ball they're both under 4.25 yards per attempt rushing uh neither of them can throw the ball uh tcu is number 92 in the country in yards per pass cal is number 124 and yet both of them are top 33 as far as defensive yards per pass so eh like there's i i, I don't i'll tell you this metrics have tcu minus one and in a total of 33. So, I'll tell you this. I'm going under in this game. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm probably going to roll with TCU. Like, I, I, I think Gary Patterson, with time, is just better prepared than, than Justin Wilcox. I w- I w- I'm going to agree with that. Uh, TCU is my play here. It's, it's the play that I like. Um, just for, I don't know. I think if TCU can can prepare i think they can score 25 or 30 i'm gonna go over uh you're going over the 40 i'm going over the 40 just because that's that's just really damn small i mean it's it's that's low yeah 40 is i mean if this was a 17 13 game it wouldn't surprise me no it wouldn't but but for some reason i think the the more time to prepare is going to help the offenses more than the defenses well and i mean so with point totals Anything can change the game. Right? Well, that's it. Well, so, if like you got a, a pick six or a punt overtime, return, or I mean, yeah, you go into overtime and you can get two or three extra possessions. I mean, if you end up the, fourteen to fourteen, yeah, and then go into overtime and yeah, then it turns can, into LSU you, Texas yeah, A&M, you can blow it. I mean, you can blow it quickly. Yeah, so. you you got that right, a hundred percent. All right, so we're both rolling TCU on the pick'em, and I'm doing under the forty. You're doing over the forty. Yeah. All right, I like it. I like it. 